hello everyone welcome to my channel so i'm starting this series where i will show you how you can run the latest different object detectors and trackers uh, using the collab environment so the first one we are going to use is the yolo or model so all you need is a browser all right just type collab.research.google.com and also go to the yolo or github repository all right uh, i will add both links in the description so don't worry about that all right inside the collab repository click at new notebook all right uh, so these are all the files that we are going to use so let's change the name of this notebook to yolo r all right so if you are not familiar with the google collab you need to go to the runtime and click at change runtime type here you can get a cpu or a gpu or a tpu so what we are going to use is a gpu click at save now if you click at connect it will assign you a gpu and some ram all right so we are going to use these file so to get this file inside this notebook you need to click at the code and copy this path all right now if you see here it says it has given us around 13 jb ram and some hard all right so to get that github repository click git clone and now paste that address all right so once it's done now if you click at this folder you can see it downloaded all these files here so we need to get inside this repository for that type cd yellow r okay now we are inside this one now we need to install all the dependencies to run these files and all the dependencies are mentioned inside the requirement.txt file if you open it uh, you can see all the requirements and their versions are mentioned in this file so now either you can install each one one by one or you can install all of them at once all right so to install these requirements what you need to do is type here, here pip install qr requirements.txt which is uh, this file mentioned here all right now click at install by the way uh, i'm running this by pressing shift plus enter at once you can do that or you can click at this sign to execute them all right once it, it will be done installing all of these what we need to do is we need to get the weights for this model so weights are mentioned here you can get them what we are going to use are mentioned here yolo underscore p6.pt so right click on this okay now uh, we are not going to download these manually and then put them here okay I will show you a direct way to get these weights directly inside this file. For that, you need to do this. Click at these three dots. Click at share. Now uh, copy this link. Paste it here. So the token that you only need to copy is mentioned after this d slash and before this slash view so copy this token close this file now to get the weights what you need to type is g down id inside the table quotation just paste the id this is the token that we copied from the previous g drive link you can see it downloaded 150 MB 
file like just in second now if you see inside this see now we got it if we did this manually it would have taken around 10 to 15 or more minutes depending on your internet speed now we are all done all we need is a video sample to do the inference so i'm going to use this short clip from a movie i hope i won't be giving any spoilers all right so, so this is a short clip so i'm going to drag this inside because it's a short file or you can create a new folder or you can paste this anywhere all right doesn't matter so now to inference we are going to use uh, this file detect.py if you look at the detect.py file it has the following arguments the one we are going to use is the weights in which we will uh, give the path for the weights file and source for which we need to define the video input path then this is the output that we are not going to use for now it will just give us the output inside the inference output and lastly uh, you need to define either you want the detection of all objects or you want to detect only a some particular class so in my videos i will be mostly focusing on only the human class and the human class has the id zero in yolo model mostly zero we are going to inference this for that you need to type exclamation mark uh, python we need to type this always if we are going to run a dot py file we are going to run detect dot py we are going to give it the weight path for weight path what you need to do is just copy this and paste it here and we need to find the source path for that again same copy paste and finally we need to define which class we want to detect in my case human now just execute this one says we have given the following arguments now if you see it has given us the detection one by one for every frame 8% 7% 10% 9% and it saved the output in inference underscore output now this is our output let's see how it looks in this tutorial i'm going to just download and show you uh, in my next videos i will show you how you can show this output directly inside this notebook our detection It's detecting all the persons accurately. So this is it for yellow R. In next videos, I will be showing you the more object detectors and trackers. So if it helps you, then please subscribe to my channel and press the like button. See you in the next video. Thanks.